Hey there, my fellow YouTubers. It's Cassandra72, and I'm coming to you with my CBS haul for this evening. Actually, this is one of two, and nothing really, really extra special about this haul. This was a haul, the type of haul that I do not like to do, and that is because I had ECBs that expired on, well, they were actually already expired. I noticed that I had a ECB that expired yesterday for $10, okay? And um, so I was like, oh, God, let me go in and use this, all right? And so then I also noticed that I had a dollar that expired on the 6th, which I realized that it expired, but I had forgot about that because I meant to try to work that in a transaction on this card and use that since it was only a dollar and, you know, it was within, you know, a couple days. Um, but yeah, I had for, even forgot about that. So $11 worth of ECBs that were expired. All right. But my CVS will take them within a week. So basically, um, I went in and, um, we got a $2 got to be, um, any full size product coupon today, $2 off any two, oh Jesus, $2 off any one full size got to be product. And, um, the last time we got them, they were $3, making things pretty much free. But in any event, um, you know, a couple would have buy one, get one free sale or something like that. That would have been even better. But um, certain got to be, the full size got to be products were on sale for $3.99 at CVS, which was not a bad deal, I don't think. Um, so what I did was I picked up six of those. Okay. Picked up six of them and then used six $2 coupons. And then I also noticed that the Mitchum was on sale uh, for $1.99. And we had $1 coupons. I'm not sure what insert those came out of. I've had them clipped um, and had them for a while since there was an other Mitchum product, the Advanced Control, that was on clearance for $0.99 cents and made those free. Um, but like I said, I saw these today were um one ninety nine and I figured okay I got dollar coupons and I can use those and um then like I said my transactions just end up working out for the best for me because I was only gonna pick up two initially and then I still needed a couple dollars um to spend so I looked and I actually had four coupons so I used them all and they all actually expired today. So that was a good deal. Alright so let's look at what this receipt looks like. Okay, so I have four of the got to be gels at three. I'm sorry, six at three ninety nine. I have four of the screaming hold. I just glued and and, and two of the ultra glued. Um, so three ninety nine for all of those, and then the lady mentioned um one ninety nine for all of those. I used the four of twenty. I used a one dollar ECB, a ten dollar ECB. Then I used four one dollar coupons for the Mitchum and six. $2 coupons for the guy to be. My subtotal came out to $0.90. Cents. Tax was $188. And I paid $2.78 out of pocket. Saving $61.80 today. You know, maybe not the best haul. Nothing back or anything like that. But, you know, working on the fly. You know, I thought it was pretty good. And um, with this haul, I'm about $5 now shy of getting another beauty club. That is if the... I know the jail counts... And if the deodorant counts, and I believe that it should. So I'll check in a couple days and see where I am. But yeah, like I said, not the not the greatest haul in the world, but an okay haul considering the fact that, you know, I didn't even really go in to use anything on this card and just, you know, kind of saw on the way in that I needed to because you're talking about a $10 ECB. You don't want a $10 ECB to go too far out. And so, um, even though my favorite manager was there, Brian, um, and one of um, the cashiers that, I guess said I'm cool with everybody there, but um, she asked, I said, both of my ECDs were expired. And she said, well, how much were they? And I told her. So, she just asked, she said, well, Brian, is this okay? Because one of them's $10. And he had said, when did it expire? And I said, expire yesterday. He said, oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, he, and he actually said that she probably could just put in the numbers um, since it was within a week. And, you know, they put in the numbers and apparently it takes it. So I guess that's a little bit of a different um, method than just forcing it in. So she was able to key them both in and 
Yeah, I'm sure it's a different method because if you look, they don't just both say CVS coupons. One says CVS coupon and one says CVS manufacturer coupon because that would have been an ECB that I got from the purchase of select products. So that may be something that they're able to do if it's within, you know, a few days. So yeah, but went off without a hitch and then I prepared for the next transaction, which I'll be bringing you guys in just a few moments. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And until the very next video, I wish you peace and blessings.